When you import video to your PC, Windows Movie Maker automatically segments your video footage into clips so they are more manageable and ready to edit. You can preview each clip by clicking on it and pressing the play button. You can also double click on the clip and it will also play. Once you've found the clips that you want, you simply drag them onto the storyboard in whatever order you like. To rearrange your clips, just drag and drop them to a different location on the storyboard. Once you've dragged all the clips down to the storyboard, hit play to see how they look together. And don't worry if you need to go back later and add or delete any clips. If there are clips that have footage that you don't want, Windows Movie Maker makes it easy for you to edit them further. First, click on the Show Timeline button, then click on the clip that you want to trim, move up to the Preview window, and scroll to the point at which you want to start editing. On the Clip menu, click Set, Start, Trim Point. Then go back to the Preview window. Scroll further into the clip to the point where you want to stop the clip. On the Clip menu, click Set and Trim Point. The clip is now edited to the desired length. Now you're ready to add music to your home video. Go into the Capture Video section of the task pane and click on Import Music or Audio. Navigate to the music that you want, click on it, and then press Import. Movie Maker will automatically import this song into your Collections view. Click on the song and drag it to the Audio Music portion of the timeline. If the music is longer than your clips, Click on the right-hand side of the music track and drag it to match the length of the video. Windows Movie Maker lets you make movies like a pro with professional-looking transitions. In the task pane, click on View Video Transitions. Click on a transition and press play to preview it or double click on it. Once you've selected the transitions that you like, drag them onto the storyboard in between the clips. And once you have them down on the storyboard, press play to preview your clip with the transitions included. Windows Movie Maker lets you add professional looking titles and credits, just like your favorite Hollywood movies. In the task pane, click on Make Titles or Credits. If you'd like your title to be at the beginning, click on Add to the Beginning. Type in what you'd like your title to say. In this case, the Scott Family Talent Show. With Movie Maker, you can also change the title animation. There are a variety of animation styles that you can choose. You can preview them by double clicking on the style and it will show in the preview window. Once you find the one that you like, you can also change the font and the background color of your title. Any font that's available on your system is also available to Movie Maker. Once you're done, click Done Add Title to Movie. And you'll see in the storyboard the title is added to the beginning of your movie. Windows Movie Maker also lets you add exciting effects to your home movies. In the task pane, click on View Video Effect. You can preview the effects by clicking on them and pressing play or double clicking on them. There's a variety of effects including aging your film, adding film grain, changing the color to grayscale, or flipping the picture upside down. 
Once you've selected the effects that you would like to use in your movie, simply click on them and drag them down to the left-hand portion of the clip on the storyboard. Once you've added all of your effects to your home movie, you can press play in the preview window to see how it looks. To save your movie to your PC, go to the task pane and click on Save to My Computer. Enter the name of your movie, and Movie Maker will save it to the My Videos folder. Click Next. Movie Maker also recommends the compression setting that is best for saving to your computer. Click Next, and Movie Maker will save your movie. This could take a few moments. Once your movie is saved, you'll have the option of viewing it immediately. If you'd like to, press Finish and the movie will play back in Windows Media Player. With Windows Movie Maker 2, you can also send your movie directly in email. In your task pane, click on Send an Email and Windows Movie Maker 2 will save your movie. Once the movie is saved, it will open your default email application and attach the finished home movie in the email. All you have to do is put a subject on it and click send. Another way to save your home movies using Windows Movie Maker is to post them to a website. In the task pane, click on Send to the Web. Enter in the name of your movie and click Next. Windows Movie Maker will automatically select the setting which is best for viewing on the web. Click Next and Windows Movie Maker will save your movie. This may take a few moments. There are two Microsoft partners who currently offer web hosting directly from Movie Maker. Select one of them, and if you don't have an account, click on Sign Up Now, and it will walk you through the process of signing up for an account. If you do have one, enter the information. Click Next and the movie will be posted to the website. With Windows Movie Maker 2, you can also bring your home movies to a CD so you can send them to friends and family. In the task pane, simply click on Save to CD. You'll be asked to enter in a file name for your movie. Once you've done that, click on Next and Windows Movie Maker will recommend a setting best for the CD. Once you've clicked Next, Windows Movie Maker will start to save your movie. This may take a few moments. Once your movie is done, just click Finish and your CD will automatically be ejected from its drive and you're ready to send it out.